Hello, this is Kurt Brown, also known as St. Rambone, founder of the website Mobile Audit Club. Today is the 10th anniversary of 4-3-2001. Today is 4-3-2011. Let's look back in time, shall we? I watched a film just yesterday, or a play rather, and reminded me of something else that was bigger in the picture of something that happened 10 years ago. I'm talking about full out, full scale abuse of the American people. Or I should say just people in general around the globe. I know of some who were killed in experiments at Lele VA Westwood. It was after I was running from Sheriff Jack Snatch the Ferry Possum Tillman in Mobile, Alabama. He had taken my gun permit when I was already in fear after I'd been attacked with no response from federal officials. I was investigating a murder. No one cared the regional director of the FDIC was murdered, and they would not have cared if I, mur I was murdered. There are people out there who are larger than us in their own minds, and they'll do anything for a large amount of money, such as you have at the FDIC or the Treasury Department. You could have international players involved. I discovered I am nothing. I was warned not to work there as an accountant. Many people do not understand the complexity of many things on this earth, nor the pull of big money and how vicious that can become in defending it. I would like to get a job today, Sweet Carol, to, at the uh, FDIC. Maybe I could sit in the uh, RDF Dick IUD chair. It's a coveted position in San Francisco. Sheriff Jack Snatched Ferry Possum Tillman on 4-3-2001 took my gun permit. Later on, the government used that fact against me, saying I had no gun permit. He was proven to have stolen two. $360,000 in 2005. It was 2001 that I first reported it. High new Mobile, Alabama City Council meeting gate. I wanted to go in front of cameras to report this. I had lured Sheriff Jack Tillman out by sending letters to inmates, knowing, I would be, knowing they would be opened by the sheriff, telling him I would be coming to collect those monies, and I would find out who did so in front of the meeting by asking who was it, the accounting department or the sheriff's department. Money is earmarked for inmate food funds. When inmates are starving, they have to eat. This is 10 years ago. I'm calling for a special day. It's not only Sheriff Jack Tillman, but a murder of an FDIC regional director. FDIC labeled suicide. Once again, the culprit got away. I think of these people as being like Snatch the Fairy Possum. Sheriff Snatch the Fairy Possum in particular, because they control not only the banking industry in many cases, but law enforcement. Of course, if you control the banks, you control the laws. They wrote a law to allow Snatch to snatch 360000 did nothing to him and gave him a double retirement, what a veteran would get, which I would advise you never to be one. Uh, peasant. Guinea pig. Lava guinea pig. I went to L.A. on 4-23-2000 when I was injected forcibly. Then on May 1, 2001, I was hauled away. Basically tortured psychologically and made to sign documents later I was put in exile and partially blinded. That was 2003 and 2004. I was exiled forcibly in Eureka, California. They changed the name of the hospital where they were doing the forced injections and killing people where they had interred me in 2001. It was LABA Westwood. Now it has another name. I'd be aware if you're a veteran in Los Angeles, you're nothing but a rat. And a lot of those people don't like you just because you wear that uniform looking like Elvis. So cheesy, they think. They have a name for you, you know. Sheriff Snatched the Fairy Possum. This is Sheriff Snatched the Fairy Possum Day. April 3, every year, 2001, 2011. Every year. Sheriff Snatched the Fairy Possum Day. 4, 3, 2, bam. We all know the date. Uh, I saw a movie yesterday called To Kill a Kelpie. It was actually a play. Similar to Kill a Mockingbird, it suffered. It was a man dealing with child abuse, child sexual abuse in a play. They should make a play about forced medical torture of people in Los Angeles. They did it at Kaiser Permanente Hospital with forced medical procedures experiments and they also did it in Los Angeles at the alleged insane asylum 
You can be insane if you even turn on anyone inside the government. No one cares if you live or if you die, do they? I don't think so, not in the government. They left me unemployed, basically tried to kill me. They were going to do all sorts of things. Me for even doing journalistic work. It's useless in some ways to kill a Kelpie, to kill a Mockingbird. I advise that play. There's a group called Stop the Silence. Hope they get what they wanted, but there's a silence on many fronts today. The people are not always that kind. You got to realize there's a type A blood from Europe, the Americas, and China, directly related to the bonobo monkey, the smartest of the human primate predecessors. Human bonobo, type A blood, just like the Asian, the Caucasian and the American Indian. Type B, monkey C, monkey do. <laughs> you eat a me, I eat a you. Sheriff Snatch the Fairy Possum Tillman, this is 4-3-2001. Please put a phone call in to Sweet Carol at the FDIC and tell them that terminating an FDIC bank examiner was not nice, especially an investigator journalist. Most people can't comprehend the game we're in. I'm still trying to understand it. I need a job, sweet Carol. You starred me. That was not nice what you did. Would you have Manischewitz pick me up in the limousine? I'll go to work at the Treasury Department. After all, you partially binded me when I was in exile. This is Kurt Brown, alias St. Rambon, former FDIC bank examiner of San Francisco, where they whacked the F-Dick head, and I came there afterward. Yikes! They almost got me. But I run test. Bada bee, bada boo, dodge ball for me and you. Sweet Carol, low die, low die, low die, low die.